Now, unfortunately, we had a few gremlin issues, which has meant that, unfortunately, we back in Juma. Not unfortunately, actually, because we have a beautiful zebra stallion that is crossing over the road. And isn't that a pretty view as the rolling road goes and the zebra crosses over? Very pretty indeed. The setting sun in the background. Now, unfortunately, as with the rest of the animals today, our zebras are crossing into Buffel's Hook. So the rest of them have all gone off our boundaries as well. So we'll have to try and see if we can't find something going the opposite direction. We need things to start coming this way across this road. Uh, I wonder if we can get a view of this. Hold on, Craig. This might be quite cool. Because the rest of the zebras that have already crossed over... Uh, maybe over here it's not going to be great because there's going to be lots of foliage in the way but there is a zebra that has decided it's going to climb its very own termite mound so you'll find this quite commonly with zebras is they like to go up termite mounds they feed a lot of the grass on termite mounds much like buffalo would do kudu and parlors you see a lot of them doing it the reason is because that food is far more nutritious the termites when they build this mound are mixing saliva with their feces and and soil particles and that feces acts as a compost basically and as they mix it all together so that plant life then starts to grow and it's very nutrient rich in comparison to the rest of the plants in the area and so that's why they go up there to eat off it the other plus side of a zebra being on top of a mound is that it can see for quite a long way so it'll be able to see if there's any signs of predators potentially in this area and that's the stallion right at the back so he waited for his whole herd to go before he went and he's just checking up on us as we're sitting here at least they decided to stay and didn't just go away from us straight away it's quite pleasant craig i'm going to go forward a little bit for you i just want to see if we can't get a better view on the stallion nicely out in the open like that there that should be better that's much better we don't have too many branches now in front of him what are you doing with your lip We have a smiling zebra. There we go. <laughs> Isn't this funny? What are you doing with your lip? I wonder if he hasn't smelt something there where a female maybe urinated and it's almost part of his phlegm and grimace that he hasn't got quite right. But it's definitely giving us a little toothy grin to end our day. Now, Chitty Chatty Meg, you're asking if I've ever seen a skinny zebra because they always look so fat and healthy. There we go. There's a phlegm and grimace. As he lifts his head up, and you see, back down to the ground again. And I wonder if Tingana was doing this this morning with Tara. I heard that he was sniffing around, but I wonder if he was also displaying a phlegm and grimace at any point. Now, Chitty Chatty Meg, in terms of skinny zebras, oh, there he goes again. I don't know what's wrong with our zebra, but um, no, not really. If you see, I have seen skinny zebras, but their stomach will always have some roundness to it. And the reason for that is because of the stomach structure that they have. They're a hindgut fermenter, which means they basically have a massive vat that breaks down the food that they eat. And the byproduct of that is actually a lot of gas. So zebras do bloat quite heavily. And even if they're skinny, you will find a bit of bloating. And last year when we had the drought, the zebras, some of them actually did look quite skinny. You could see the hip bones protruding off the skin and varying other parts of their body that you could see the ribs a little bit but the stomach itself always stays fat and that's just because of the nature of their digestive system but this is the most entertaining male zebra ever i'm loving the way that he keeps smiling <laughs> big yawn has it been a tough day today buddy there we go he's decided that's enough of that enough smiling for the camera it's now time to wander off very cool. Right, onward.